Hello, this is Vettel121, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII International, and in this episode, we're going to continue exploring the Barheem Passage, and, yeah, this door right here will actually become important later, I think that's how we, uh, can get back in this place, with a certain key, but, yeah, that won't be until after we do a side quest or two, I believe, so, yeah, not going to worry about that right now. Definitely want to take out this mimic that's chewing on power cables over here, though. Yeah, that Gladius is pretty awesome. That is for sure. Get a lousy potion. Yay. and a save point. And yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the save point. I guess I could touch it though to restore all my HP and MP, that might help. And yes, I believe we're gonna be fighting a boss. a giant mimic. And they love chewing on power cables. And there's a ton of them. Okay, well, I think to start out here, I want to start casting Immobilize on these bastards. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but at least we can try. Yeah, I want to take out all these mimics. Yeah. Should be able to take out this boss, no problem. Can't remember what we stole from this guy, but whatever. I'll have to look back at that when we edit. Because <laughs> I, I, I honestly missed it. Shockstorm? Oh. Well, whatever Shockstorm is, we don't get to see it because I kicked this guy's ass. And yes, that is why we can't get back into Barheim Passage. Because that way is blocked. But there's another way in, but we need a key. And yes, we're in the Dalmasca Esther Sand, right by the uh, Oasis Town. I think it's called the Oasis Town. To think Dalmascan air could taste so sweet. Where are we? The Esther Sand, by the look of it. Let's back to Rabanasta before we shrivel up. By your leave, Captain. Yes, the hour of my return is already over late. The people may hate me, but that does not free me of my charge. Alright, man. And... the hell? Okay, you got some weird Japanese symbols going on over there, but yeah, we, we need to head back to Rabinasta. So, uh... Oops. What the hell? I was gonna say, I wasn't trying to attack that guy. Oh, the boss has the key. Yeah, the boss has the key! But yeah, we won't be getting that key right away. Let's head back to Rabinasta. In fact... Yeah, there's nothing in here that's worth showing off right now, so I'll just meet you back at Rabinasta then. Alright, we are now back at Rabinasta, so let's uh, continue on with the story events here. Yeah. Boss will get an opportunity to get a bath, which is good. I thank you. I'd avoid crowds if I were you. In this town, you're still a traitor, you know. The Resistance will surely find me soon. 
Fates will we meet again. I would pay my respects to your brother. You're a fugitive now too. Stay low for a while. What about the stone? Do as you like. That stone's ill-favored. We feel regret. We sought that stone and found ourselves only worry. You offering it? It's mine. Then why'd you ask? Our regards to your girl. We stay in Rabanaster a while. Yeah, everybody leaves the party, but yeah, Fran and Balthier, they'll be think? joining again real quick. Can I trust Bosch? Oh, shut up, Vaughn. Who are you talking to, anyways? I gotta get rid of this thing. Who are you talking to? But maybe I should show it to Pinello first, so she knows I got something. She'd be at Miguel's place this time of day. Okay. And Balthier and Fran leave the party. Okay, whatever. And we're gonna be heading to Miguelos, I guess. Yeah, I think something opens up in town here where you can like fast travel with those Moogles, but yeah, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and craft. I hate it when that happens. No, yeah, go this way. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Yeah, let's check it out. Vaughn, is it really you? I heard you got took off to Nalbina. The Imperials will need more than a dungeon to stop me. Oh, shut you up. You broke out of a dungeon? Whoa! Hey, try and keep it down, would you? Pinello isn't around, is she? Out on a delivery, maybe? Nope, haven't seen her all day. Not like her to up and skip out on work like that. Miguelo's not here either. He went running off somewhere a little while ago. So much for my big welcome. Guess everybody's busy. I got my hands full watching the shop, and old Dallin had something for me to do, but I can't get away. Old Dallin, huh? Tell you what, I'll go see him for you. Really? Well, nothing better to do. Yeah, okay. Well, anyways, yeah, we're gonna be heading to Low Town now. Which, uh. Shouldn't be too far away here. Super fast speed! And stop. Yeah. More super fast speed. Oh crap. Uh, 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 where am I going here? Uh, yeah, yeah, this way. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, okay, straight ahead. And we can get this treasure, I think. No, we can't. Okay, whatever. It's not there. How you doing, old guy? Well, well. How's your bond? Yeah, heard you were sent off to Nalpina. And I got out of there as fast as I could. But it was all worth it, down. Here, look at this. My, my, my. Quite a treasure you've got there. Well, you know, I couldn't have done it without your help. So, there is more to this gutter, Churl, than first meets the eye. Van, I have an errand, a simple favor to beg of you. I was going to ask that kites to go, but I should think that you ought to do. No. No, I think you're just the one. There's a fellow by the name of Azalas, and I need you to bring this sword to him. That's... that's a sword of the old order. Speak my name when you arrive. That should be enough to get you in to see him. I've made a note on your map showing you where he can be found. Mind you, you are to deliver the sword to him personally. I will. Hey, Dal, do you think I could get you to do something for me? I need you to find out where Pinello is. I wanted to show her what I got from the palace, but I haven't been able to find her anywhere. Can you let me know if you hear anything? You can just leave that to me. Thanks, Down. 
And so it is done. But will it be enough to remind him of what the order once meant? Huh? Wonder what he means by that. Okay, we get the sword of the order, I guess. All right, X part marks the spot. This is where we need to be next. So let's talk to this guy. Yeah, we're supposed to deliver something, and why are you giving us shit? Just take it. Okay, whatever, man. make of Andor's proclamation? Are you suggesting they fooled even the Marquis? What if a judge killed the king, not the captain? That would explain everything, wouldn't it? In case the captain would be brother to a judge. How are we to trust such a man? Huh? Ah. Now there is the Bosch that I remember. Then will you fight again at my side? His word alone convinces me of nothing. I'd take his word over that of a mouthpiece Marquis. Then you name Rex liar with him. My brother was no liar! <sighs> Shut up, Vaughn. Rex was the witness they needed. They had to make it appear as if I killed the king. Rex bears no blame. The fates have willed it. So this is Rex's brother. <sighs> Your words may convince a child such as this, but they weigh far too lightly on the scales for my taste. Our paths will remain separate. Do you not think Amalia worth saving? I hold men's lives in my hands. I must see foes in every shadow. The night we moved against Vane, he knew. I will not chance such disadvantage again. I must treat you as I would Ondor, as I would treat any of better of the Empire. Then what will you do? Hold me here in chains. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Listen to me, Bosh. Your cage may have no bars, but it is a cage. The eyes of the Resistance watch unblinking. Let them watch. I know something of cages. Okay, then. And so the monk joins the party. Yeah, I'm gonna be making Bosch into a monk. Originally, I was gonna make him into a knight, but nah. That's right. Amalia's in the resistance. Then you know her. Sorta. We met just before we got sent to Nalbana. I've known nicer people. Our paths keep crossing yours and mine. It's more than coincidence. It's annoying. I'm sorry. Allow me one last annoyance, a favor to ask. I want you to take both here. Even caged birds need wings. This makes us even. Even? For Nalbana. We couldn't have done it without you. Yes, boss has joined the party permanently for the rest of the game. All right. All right, we are on the east end of Rabinasta, and there's one more little cutscene story thing I want to show off in this episode before we end. Then I'll be doing some shopping for Bosch. And yeah, we'll end up going A to see... Kids lost their parents in the war. Balthier and Fran mine, in the next episode. Mine had already died before that. The plague took them both. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. It's been five years now. After that, I lived with my friend Pinello and her family. Then... Then the war came. I am sorry. You don't have to keep apologizing. Really, it's alright. I know it wasn't your fault. I see that now. You didn't kill my brother. Took you long enough, it was the Empire. Fucking dumbass. My brother trusted you. And he was right. Yeah, whatever. Glad you finally figured it out, Vaughn. And that is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. In the next episode, we will talk to both your and Fran in the Sand Sea. This is Veto121. See you next time.